There's a massive gold rush going on in the Web 3.0 space right now. This is a multi-trillion dollar opportunity that translates into a multi-million dollar opportunity for many individuals and small groups of people. And we're seeing a huge migration of people, you know, leaving the Web 2.0 world or for the Web 3.0 world. Like this, the YouTube head of gaming leaving YouTube to become the CEO of Polygon Studios. And also a rapid expansion from some of the top companies in the entire world into Web 3.0 the metaverse, like Microsoft acquiring Activision for $75 billion to step into the metaverse. It's abundantly clear that Web 3.0 is the place to be and that there's a once in a generation opportunity with boundless upside potential. And so in this video, I'm actually going to break that down. You know why? Uh, as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis, who's actively building inside of Web 3.0, and also how you can take advantage of this big opportunity in this video. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step-by-step -step start to finish, then head on over to dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. All right, so let's talk about this massive opportunity that's on the table for Web 3.0, okay? So, like I said before, we're seeing a massive migration from people out of the Web 2.0 space and into the Web 3.0 space, okay? Like I showed you before, you know, we've seen, you know, the YouTube uh, head of gaming becoming Polygon uh, Studio CEO. I'm seeing lots of stories of top-tier talent and fan companies moving over to Web 3.0 because they see this opportunity on the table and so many companies expanding into the metaverse. Now, what I want to be very clear about this is I think what's happening from Web 2.0 to Web 3.0 is really an expansion, not necessarily a replacement of the existing system. So I'll explain what I mean by that, but first let's do a quick recap of Web 2.0 to Web 3.0 transition in the first place. So the internet's gone through multiple stages, Web 1.0 to Web 2.0 to Web 3.0. So Web 1.0 is basically just dumb static websites where you consume information, Web 2.0 gave rise to, you know, uh, uh, interactive websites where you can sign up for accounts, you know, uh, do social networks, mobile experiences, things like that. And now we have Web 3.0, and that's creating the Internet of Value, where you have things like trustlessness, censorship resistance, immutability, and also transparency. And that's giving birth to new use cases all the time. You know, right now we have cryptocurrencies, we have NFTs, we have DeFi, you know, crypto gaming metaverse. And we're seeing new applications of these use cases all the time. Like the Super Bowl tickets are supposed to come with NFTs this year as souvenirs. You know, Ferrari is looking at ways to incorporate Web 3.0 into their brand. And so many major players are trying to do the same thing. How can we take this use set of use cases and apply it to our business or maybe even create new businesses? And that's where this massive opportunity comes into play. Because, you know, Morgan Stanley sees the metaverse as an $8 trillion opportunity in China alone. And if you expand that worldwide, you know, you only have to capture a little tiny slice of that to realize a ton of opportunity. There's an insane opportunity to do that before everybody else could. Or if you learn HTML in the 90s, you can make a ton of money compared to people who just learn HTML today. There's a lot of stuff where if you're just early and you apply the right amount of effort, you know, without that much effort on the grand scheme of things, that you could get a disproportionate reward from that. Same thing happened in Web 2.0 when basically if you could create a uh, an interactive website that could, you know, capture users that you could find a way to monetize. You know, in some ways, there was a lot of opportunity just to create the low-hanging fruit in that world before you have all these competitors in the space now. And those people were also disproportionately rewarded for that. So we have a similar opportunity on the table with Web 3.0. And let's talk about how you can, you know, jump on this opportunity. Now, of course, a lot of people are going to flock to this space to try to, you know, buy assets that are a part of this trend, whether it's, you know, stocks of companies that say they want to expand into Web 3.0 in the metaverse. I'm sure that's why we're seeing some of these news stories come out in the first place. Or like crypto projects that are related to this. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? I'm not even personally opposed to doing this. I mean, I'm a crypto holder myself. But I want to talk about things that you can do like to actually use your time in a productive way that have a uh, could have potentially a disproportionate reward for the amount of effort that you put in. So one of the top ways is definitely to reskill and then break into the web 3.0 space. Okay. So you know, in many cases, there's lots of jobs inside of Web 3.0 that exist in Web 2.0 world. So if you're already, you know, uh, in marketing or a project manager or whatever, you know, business role, in many cases, there's going to be room for that Web 3.0. And the easiest thing to do is just learn how the space works so that you can function properly one of those companies. But there's a much bigger opportunity on the table, in my opinion, all right, for a vast majority of people who are technically inclined, and that's to reskill and actually learn uh, blockchain skills to build Web 3.0 technology. Okay, you know, it's one of the highest paying skills in tech. 
Uh, the average blockchain salary is $154,000 per year, as stated on a website like this, you know, ZipRecruiter.com. And it's also incredibly interesting. And there's all this opportunity that you can kind of be one of the first people to do, you know, fill in the blank. There's not that much opportunity to do that inside of Web 2.0. So how would you do this? Well, the good news is that's exactly what I teach you how to do in this YouTube channel. Show you how to learn blockchain coding skills from scratch, whether you're a developer already or you're just starting from square one. And I truly believe that there's a massive upside potential uh, for this particular skill relative to any other th thing you could do in tech, right? I was talking about before, like learning HTML in the 90s would have had a huge upside compared to learning HTML now because the number of people who knew it back then compared to the demand, it's basic supply and demand economics. Huge demand, tiny supply of people who understand how to do it on the grand scheme of things. And so if you can just get in that circle <laughs> that can satisfy that demand, you can just to, you know, you can you can take a huge chunk out of this opportunity. That's what I'm seeing happen uh, with a lot of the migration from Web 2.0 companies to Web 3.0. You know, the employees inside of there, a lot of them are reskilling to learn Web 3.0 stacks to work with these Web 3.0 companies. In many cases, they're making super high salaries. Okay, so um, you know that's that's just one way to do it. And of course, some of these people will have a better edge because they have experience already. But that doesn't preclude beginners from taking advantage of this opportunity either. You just have to start from square one. And one of the most common questions on this channel is. Can you learn blockchain as your first coding language? You absolutely can. And I always recommend if you're starting from scratch that you learn blockchain first before you try to go learn any other programming language and learn everything else as you go. All right, so the next way to jump on this opportunity for you know, individuals or small groups of people is to create a project in Web 3.0, okay? So you can look at the umbrella of use cases and look at cryptocurrency, you know, DeFi, uh, NFTs, metaverse, all this type of stuff. Uh, well, in my opinion, the easiest way to do this for individuals, like I'm just going to throw out that example because most people watching this video, they want to say, hey, what's an easy project that I could do, uh, it, you know, it, as a part of this? Well, honestly, the easiest thing is to create your own NFT project. I mean, we're seeing a ton of upside for just small groups of people and individuals for this. So she had $10 in her bank account. And she was 36, went from living paycheck to paycheck to making over $109,000 selling NFTs. We saw this 12-year-old artist who sells almost $4 million in NFTs and makes history as time's first artist in residence. And the 12-year-old boy who sold $400,000 worth of NFTs on his summer holiday. And so that's what these people are doing is they are just taking something that's like not that hard on the grand scheme of things for people, like I said before, uh, a relatively small amount of effort okay uh compared to the upside reward because all you have to do when you have a massive expansion like this massive opportunity is that you can just kind of reach your arm out and grab some of that opportunity and the reward for that could be really big okay so now i'll just say this like th there's still like a lot of luck involved with some people who have these exceptional results okay um there's still you know, there's no guarantee that you're just gonna walk out tomorrow and and get this type of thing okay but here's why it's so cool is because let's say you pursue that opportunity all right maybe maybe you're gonna do that like while you're trying to get a job on the side or something and if it takes off it takes off right or you go try or you get a job and you do this as a side hustle and you know it takes off if it takes off and it doesn't it doesn't so the knowledge that you get from trying this is gonna be insanely valuable to you because you're getting high value technical skills that you could monetize in some other way, all right, by either getting a job, you know, increasing your skill set. So it's, it's one of those things where it has a high upside potential in terms of reward and a almost no downside potential. And NFTs, I think, are the easiest way to do this for a lot of people. Now, you could expand this to other crypto use cases if you, or Web 3.0 use cases if you're more ambitious, like, you know, doing something with a DeFi application, creating some much larger NFT project, some sort of metaverse land or application. But NFTs are probably the easiest way for most people to try this. All right, so the last thing I want to say about this opportunity is that um, what I see happening with Web 2.0 into Web 3.0 is really a, an expansion, not just a migration from one place to another. And that's a really common misconception that people have is like, hey, we're just going to like, you know, burn down the Web 2.0 system and create the Web 3.0 system. That's not really how I see things happening. I really tried to be clear on my channel about this, that this is a an expansion, all right, not a migration. It's not just taking everything from one place and moving it to another. It's taking what you have now and creating something entirely new. And and this this messaging and this line of thinking actually helps frame this as a positive sum thing, which it can be, and that's part of what creates wealth in the first place. That then has you know this uh, this dollar value tied to it. Okay, new wealth is created from scratch because there's value here that people now want, and because there's all this value, you know, all you have to do is get a really small, tiny amount of that when it's this massive you know thing, and that can be really big. Uh, compared to, you know, what's on the table right now. So 
that's all I got for today. As always, you know, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. And if you want to take action on exactly what I'm talking about that's in this video, uh, you know, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free. You can just take one of those, learn how to create an NFT project, you know, learn how to code for blockchain. You might be surprised at how quickly you could learn some of this stuff if you've never tried before. So um, if you like those videos and you want to take the next step or, hey, maybe you want to take a master shortcut entirely, I should become a blockchain master step by step start to finish over at daptiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.